So the other day on my stream, I made a new bucket plugin from start to finish. It is called the Vanilla Null. Now this plugin is inspired by the Forge mods, the Dank Null, and also an item in open blocks called the Dev Null. The point of these blocks and our items is to store other blocks in a more compact and easier way, as well as to void off all excess blocks. Now the way these work are pretty simple. You have a block here, which has an inventory, which can hold uh, varying amounts of stuff. So this is the very lowest tier, uh, tier one vanilla null, which only holds one stack. Tier two here holds three, six, nine, 12, 15, so on. So the way these work are you put a block in here, so in this case stone, and you can use it to place that stone and each time consuming the block inside here. Then you can also go ahead and mine. Obviously now this is cobblestone, so if I go here into the other vanilla knoll and I put cobblestone in here, any cobblestone I pick up will be automatically put into this vanilla knoll and stored there so I can then go ahead and place. So a plugin like this is very nice when it comes to mining or just excavating large amounts of blocks because if you see here in this vanilla null, I have six cobblestone and 63 dirt. If I go ahead and mine up two more pieces of dirt, you'll notice I only have 64 dirt. Any more dirt I mine up will actually just be voided off and deleted. This works good when you're mining because now your inventory doesn't, doesn't get filled with cobblestone and just other useless stuff that you necessarily don't want. And beyond that, that's really the simple concept. Obviously you have different versions which you can upgrade and build out towards that allow you to store more blocks. You can actually go ahead and just shift or left click to change what block you're placing. So now dirt, cobblestone, dirt, cobblestone. And you can change up what block it placed so it can cycle through that way. But at the core of it, it's a very simple thing. And I was quite happy to make this in my stream. So because this is a more of a code snippets video, I'm going to talk more about how I did this and the steps I took from start to finish to do it. To start, I started off with just simply getting this item to pick up and be able to place blocks. Obviously I started with just stone. So what I would do is I would just place stone out in front of me, see if it would pick up and see if the code would trigger and then seeing if right clicking this would place stone like so. Once I got to that point, I went and actually made it a inventory inside of it. So this actually utilizes the shulker boxes, which is not necessarily needed, but it provided some nice uh, vanilla features that allowed me to avoid having to use NMS code. If you don't know what NMS code is, is basically I use Bucket and Bucket kind of acts as a nice to use API that abstracts away all of the ugliness that can be in the actual game's code. And so by doing that, it allows me to port to different versions much more easily. However, if you have to use MBT data, which is hidden uh, behind NMS code or an NMS system, you have to actually reference that server code directly, which will change from version to version, making porting much less harder and doesn't work cross version. So by using the shulker box, I can utilize the inventory of the item to actually store all of the stuff inside of it, making my life a little bit easier. And so because of that, when I pick something up, it dumps into the inventory. When I place, it takes out of that inventory and makes my life a little easier, as well as giving me a nice little uh, lore here, which shows you what actually holds. On top of that, I programmed in a fake inventory, which when you open it, will read how many slots that that uh, vanilla null can hold. It will place the item stacks it has in those slots, and then the rest of them that cannot be used are just marked with blocked, which are just black stained glass panes, just to give across the point that you can't use these and these can't be picked up, can't be shift clicked. They're kind of just stuck there. So once I got the kind of base mod or the base plugin there of being able to pick up and place blocks, I moved on to the inventory. Once that inventory was got was set up there, I moved on to this UI, got this UI set up. And from there, it was mainly about just cleaning things up, making sure I could select multiple blocks. I added in the feature to switch basically, whoops, not this one, this one, basically just a rolling kind of system where when you click it, it just shifts the inventory over and just kind of rolls to the inventory, allowing you to place the different blocks. And from there it was just mainly cleaning up. It wasn't necessarily a hard mod, but it was fun to learn kind of a way to hack this into vanilla. Cause obviously the shulker box is not meant to do this. There was some things we ran into with the shulker box not being meant to do this. 
of having to create this fake inventory, of having to kind of manage it, the fact that you can only hold technically two stacks uh, or 120 items because of MBT limitations, but in the end, it was a fun mod to make. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys can give it a try. There'll be a link in the description to finding this mod or plugin. Um, but anyways, that's just a small code snippets video showing you guys kind of what I've been doing. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all later. Peace out.